2017. And Dr. Lena Wen, Baltimore City Health Commissioner, is joining us this morning to talk about what the city is doing to help with the physical and emotional toll this last week has taken on residents. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. First and foremost, you're reaching out to different pharmacies right now to help the people affected by the 13 pharmacies now shut down. We're finding that there are hundreds, if not thousands, of people who can't get their life saving medications. My team at the Baltimore City Health Department has been reaching out to senior centers, senior buildings, and we've found dozens of people who are not using their inhalers, who are out of their insulin, and could die because they don't have access to medications. Yeah, it's a big hardship for some folks to travel. I, I talked to one woman whose uh, mother lives near Mondawmin Mall, and she had to come, you know, all the way down to the Penn and North area, Division Street, to get her medication. And you wouldn't, many people don't understand. It doesn't seem like a far way to go, but for a lot of folks, that is a very far way to go. And people also don't know what resources are available mm -hmm. and how to transfer their prescription from one pharmacy chain to another. So we've set up a hotline at 311 that we're asking every city resident to call if they have trouble getting their medications. And we will figure out transferring your medications, getting your transportation assistance, even mailing your prescription to you. So call us at 311. And this, of course, is a case by case basis. So you're not going to be able to provide transportation for everyone, but you're going to do what you can. Absolutely. And we'll also do what is the best for that person. Some people need transportation for many other things. Some people would prefer mail order. We will do what is best for you. So call us at 311. How many extra extra staff members have you had to add for this? I can imagine quite a lot. Our staff have been working around the clock 24-7 and we're also grateful to have volunteers from many of our academic institutions around town and, and just many residents who want to help our most vulnerable citizens. Yeah, talk about that a little bit because the need for volunteerism has, has really um, hit a lot of people right now and so I know, uh, students from Coppin State were helping serve some lunches to some senior centers. People are coming out of the woodwork. Where should people call if they would like to volunteer and help the health department get this message out? Our city has a one Baltimore website that you can sign up and donate and volunteer. And we're also looking for people not only to help with physical health, but also with mental health as well. We have to recognize that these are ongoing needs, that mental health needs are going to be even more, um, more necessary in the next weeks to months to years. And so we're looking for people also to continue to assist us with these mental health and trauma needs too. Are you going into the schools? to talk with the kids and how to process all of what has happened from elementary on? Absolutely. We are working closely with every school in the public school system and also with churches and community groups. And we ask that, we, but that people help us. So if you know of a group that needs counseling, debriefing, everybody can help by uh, calling us at 311 and letting us know about what that need might be. We have counselors who are ready to go, teams of trained mental health professionals, ready to go to schools and churches and community groups. So let us know. And so what are you hearing from people when you're out there and you're talking to them about their needs? What, what are some of the number one needs that people need right now? Right now, we're just after the crisis, and in many places, people still don't have their very basic physical needs attended to. They're not yet thinking about mental health and the toll of seeing so much trauma everywhere around us. So what we're seeing now are issues related to food and transportation and medications. So yeah, only six days out from Monday night's rioting and still so much to uh, try to process through all, all of this. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Lena Wen, for joining us this morning. That number to call again is 311, and they have teams in place ready to take your calls. Well, when we come back...